today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I strain my own hair. So basically, I just use a flat iron that's 100% solid ceramic stone and it heats up to 460 degrees. So the key thing to straining your own hair is to use a comb. The reason why is um, if you don't use a comb, your hair is going to be a little bit lumpy and it's going to be tangled. So when you actually clamp your flat iron on your hair, it's not going to distribute the heat evenly. So basically, I show you guys what I mean in the video and I just want to show you guys the end result of my hair. It's very, very soft. As you can see. Sorry, I don't know if you guys can see the back. But I hope you guys enjoy my video and I am aware that in my video I had a little bit of a black residue from my makeup. I had just did it and I didn't dry it long enough before I opened up my eye. I didn't pay attention to that, but I hope you guys are able to not get distracted by that in the video and actually enjoy me straining my hair. Thank you guys so much. Bye. Okay guys, so before you start anything with your hair, with your makeup, what you want to do is you want to grab your flat iron and what I did is I put some rubbing alcohol in this um, paper towel. So all you want to do is you just want to kind of clean it. So you can either do this when it's hot, but you just don't want to breathe in the oil or the fumes that come out of it, or you can do it when it's, you know, cooled down. But what you want to make sure that you do is you get all of these little sides of your flat iron, because trust me, if you dye your hair and if you do people's hair that has a lot of grease in it, you will get buildup on your flat iron and it will take away from the effect that it's going to leave on your hair. So that's number one and you also want to clean your comb so now that my flat iron is actually heating up I had just turned it on not too long ago this flat iron goes up to 460 degrees the brand of the flat iron doesn't matter so don't even look at my brand guys there's a lot of different brands that have similar plates so I will go ahead and um, just give you guys a list of some flat irons or you can go ahead and just look it up yourself um, it's 100% solid ceramic stone plates. The plates swivel back and forth so they're not stuck on there. And they're also round edges so that way if you're trying to feather your bangs or if you want to curl your hair, it's not going to leave you harsh lines. So like I said, the, the brand of this flat iron does not matter, guys, okay? So now that your flat iron's clean and your flat iron's um, hot, you want to make sure that your hair is all detangled. Mine is already detangled. So what I do when I'm straining my own hair, when I strain other people's hair is a little bit different. But if I'm straining my own hair, I just section it from my ear. Okay. So I section it from my ear down and then I split it in half. Because then I will work on this side and then I'll work on the other side. If you have really, really curly hair, you can take smaller sections. And I will also show you guys how I strain other people's hair. I'm going to do my mom's hair. So what you want to do, you see how I pass the comb first? Basically what that does is it's going to separate each individual strand. I'm going to show you guys. I'm not done with the other side, but I'm going to show you guys. Okay, so you see how it separates it like that? So when you're passing your flat iron through it like this, it's gonna leave you a very um, good flat surface. Instead of just grabbing your hair like this, it's gonna be all bulky on your flat iron. So that's what you wanna do. So let me go ahead and show you guys how I do it. So I just grab pieces. I make sure to comb them through so it's nice and separated. So that way when you go ahead and put in your flat iron, it's nice and flat. Now you guys could add, you know, heat protectant, you can add oils or anything like that. I don't like to add too many products before I uh, straighten my hair because the more oil that you have, if you think about it, if you have a pan and you add oil, it's going to sizzle. So, sorry if I'm looking that way, the mirror is over there. But um, let's say you have a pan and you add the oil, it's going to get hotter and it's going to sizzle. So I don't want to put too many products in my hair because when you pass a flat iron through, it's going to actually burn it more. So 
once you have that done, you can also like just combine both sides together and just go in one last time through the middle. And I will show you guys how my hair looks up close once I'm done. So now, you just want to lay your hair down. The next section that I grab is by my ears. So just go ahead and grab another section of your hair. Like I said, you guys can section it more or less depending, sorry, how look your hair, depending on how much hair you guys have and if it's curly or straight. So um, I just keep doing the exact same thing in my hair. I know what my hair feels like when it's strained and when it's not. So basically when I'm just putting my thumb underneath, I can feel which parts of my hair is strained and which parts is not. Now um, on my next video, I'm going to show you guys um, this comb that I have as well. I just wanted to do this video with this cheap comb so you guys see that it's not really necessary for the other comb, but it will definitely help you because instead of using your thumb underneath, what the other comb does is it kind of grabs it like that, so it's like a hair straining comb. And you see, I can do it with my fingers too, but the key is to separate your hair so it's nice and flat when you're running it through the flat iron. super curly so I don't have to be all in my roots too much as you can see okay so it's basically all you want to do you see how I'm putting the comb and it's gonna separate each individual strand Instead of doing one big old clump. Okay, and then just when you're done with both sides, you just kind of want to grab a piece from the middle. Remember, the trick is to be a little neat with your hair so it's not all clumpy. Okay. So now. The last, well not the last, the second to last section that I do is my crown area. You guys can either use um, a hair tie or you can use like a clip or anything like that. So basically I'm going to be repeating the same steps. And as you can see, it's really easy to strain your hair if you're using a comb. Because instead of having to go over your hair like 50 million times, you only have to go over a few times. And my hair is not curly, but it's like poofy. So if you grab a lot of hair, you might have to go over it more than once. I'm just grabbing big old chunks. Sorry. I'm just using my 
my nails. That's why I get these nails. They help me do hair. remember just make sure that it's not one big old knot when I feel my hair like this it's kind of flat that's what's gonna help help you do it faster okay so this is the last section that we have right here so what I do is I just kind of part it. it doesn't have to be nothing Nothing exact. This is not how I part my hair, guys. Okay. So I'm just going to show you. So because I'm not being really precise with it, I'm just kind of going over it really fast. But I'm just showing you guys a quick way that I do my hair. It's only been 10 minutes. You have to kind of just blend everything together. Okay. So I'm just going to straighten this this way. I know I'm going to look weird right now, but this is not how I part my hair, guys. I'm just going to straighten it this way to kind of give it a little bit more volume when I flip it over. Either just kind of flip it like this and there's a few different things that you can do when you're here straight <laughs> you see even though my hair is blonde it doesn't leave it damaged. You just have to strain it the right way. Because if I don't strain it with a comb or brushing it through, my hair will look frizzy and dried up. Grab all of your hair and make sure that it's nicely blended. And then if you feel like the bag is not good, you can always just kind of grab your root and strain just the root. Straight. 
and it feels really really soft you guys saw it was very fast and easy and I am going to be showing you guys how I strain people's hair that have curly hair people that have just really poofy hair and people that have straight hair already and they just want to touch up a little bit now you guys could have like a nice part or whatever but it doesn't really matter now you guys can do like a hairstyle like just doing a braid right here if I knew how to braid real good I would do that or you guys can do um just like the crown area up I'm gonna have a video showing you guys different styles you could do Hey guys, and this is how I strain my hair. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys learned something from it. Um, I'm going to insert a picture of the hair straining comb that I'm talking about because instead of having to put your finger underneath like this, basically what that comb is, it's like a little clamp that has a comb already and it has just a second piece attached to it. So it's going to hold it from underneath for you while you're passing your flat iron through. Okay. So that's something that for sure if you guys have curly hair, sorry, the more I have this here the more I want to play with it. That's something that if you have curly hair you guys should definitely try if you're having a hard time straining your hair. So thank you guys again so much again and until next time, bye.